What is this? And what is going on? I'm going to tell you all about it. or significant other, whatever. Nobody else is driving that vehicle. And that's how it is in my family, and I'm the same way. So that was not really an option for me. Now, the differences between them, I mentioned, there are a few. 
This one has a bigger radio screen. They redid the radio screen, something I really wasn't aware of until I went to look at it. They've changed the interior just a little bit. This one, of course, has the hard top on it. It's not lifted, doesn't have bigger tires than anything or anything like that. Um, so it's a more comfortable ride. Hers, while much better with Falcon Wild Peaks and a little bit bigger tread wall than what we've had in the past, is still rougher than this one. But nonetheless, still fun to drive. Uh, also, uh, this is the 2 liter versus the 3.5 6 cylinder. That's a big difference, but I think this one is probably almost just as quick, if not, as what she has. So I don't really lose anything in going with this one as compared to hers when it comes to pickup and power and all that kind of stuff. This one has the hard top, as I mentioned, so it's quieter. I can do videos like this and not have so much wind noise. I know it's going to be noisier anyway. I mean, it's basically a box on wheels, right? But it is quieter than what hers is. Now, real quick, I want to talk about my plans for this. And there'll be mods and things coming. I've already debadged what I'm going to debadge. And I know that's not a huge mod. Uh, but it is a change to the vehicle. Gets rid of some things I didn't want on it. Of course, there was a video on that. Hopefully, you've seen that one. But going forward, this does have the hard top. I'd like to put the Sunrider on it. The throwback soft top, get rid of the freedom panels. It just makes it easier to go ahead and do that. Uh, I did remove uh, something inside the truck, or the Jeep, I should say. So you guys will have to check out that earlier video to find out what I've done. And it makes a heck of a difference. You may have noticed already. Uh, and it did come with one. Uh, wheels and tires, of course we have to do something with those. Uh, I'm leaning towards a different type of setup than what I've had in the past. We're not going to go full out crazy. We're going to go more conservative this time to try to preserve the fun factor, the comfort factor of what the Jeep really is right now. And I know I could leave it alone and do that, but let's be honest. I'm into modding. I like changing things up, adding my own personal touch, so we can't do that. Uh, tent, it's got to have some window tent up here in the front. Of course, everything from the front back is already tented, so there's no there's no reason to do anything there. A cold air intake, probably do something with that. Maybe some other things under the hood, we'll see. Uh, maybe some other performance type things. If I can make this even quicker than it is, I'm all into that. That would be a lot of fun. Um, we're going to add some uh, other touches to it as far as aesthetics go, things like that. Basically going to give it my touch. Personalize it to get it the way that I want it with all of the stuff on it that I think. Uh, this is all personal preference, of course. But things that I think improve the looks of the Jeep uh, and hopefully add to it possibly performance-wise a little bit, as I mentioned, too. Uh, the lights on the front, they are still halogen, which I find amazing, particularly on the Sport S. I didn't buy, you know, the the most basic form, and I did go a little bit lower uh, because I didn't want to have things that I paid for that I'm going to remove and do other things with, right? Now, one other quick thing I want to mention because I had talked about this a little bit, I think, in previous videos, and that was buying one or ordering one that has a manual transmission. You know, I did a little bit of soul searching on that. Uh, I love manual transmissions, but I think for me, I love driving manual transmissions once in a while. To have one solely and drive it all the time, eh, it gets kind of tiring after a while, although I still do love doing it. So I decided I'd go with an automatic because I knew that down the road, I probably would get sick of running through the gears all the time and uh, and just go with the automatic. We shall see. Maybe that was a mistake. I don't know. So anyway, I just wanted to get on, kind of give you guys uh, a little look forward, an update as to what this is and what I'm doing. And yes, I know I'm crazy. I trade too many vehicles. I spend too much money. I know all about it. But hey, you only live once. And for me, this is my job as well as my my hobby, I guess. It's what I enjoy doing. 
there are guys and gals out there who spend a lot more money on gym memberships that they never go to by the way it's that time of year and uh, golf memberships and things like that so i figure i'm okay leave a comment let me know what you think of it i'd be curious to know thanks for watching stay safe out there